Hi, I'm Jim. I'm Rinda. We're Hardiness Approach. A couple of weeks ago, we wrote an article in our newsletter called Getting Lost in Our Own Lives. <clears throat> we need to make some changes. We were seeing it then. We were working hard to get it together. Uh, and we are re realizing. Well, we're, we're sleeping better and we're taking care, better care of ourselves. <clears throat> but we're not getting to homestead. And spring's coming, which includes summer, which means the homesteading chores and tasks and requirements are going to get bigger and bigger. It's because of YouTube. We really love you guys, <clears throat> but literally I'm spending... We're not going away. We're not. Uh, literally, I'm spending six hours a day um, answering my dear friends whom I love, helping my students, um, making videos, editing videos, and I'm like, well, when do I get to work on the homestead that we bought? And Saturday we worked on our homestead. Yeah. And Friday... It felt good. It did. Friday we went to Baker's Creek. And so we are making some changes in what we're doing. So if I, we've talked it out, so let me make sure I understand. We are doing our live still on Thursdays, Thursdays at 5 p.m. Central Time. We are doing our series on retiring to the homestead. It will still come out on Wednesday. One other time during the week, there will be a video where we are showing homesteading stuff. We haven't really established that schedule we yet. We have we're, not. We're I'm not working gonna, on that, figuring out what I'm actually fits. not going to establish a schedule. I'm going to put it out when we have enough material, when I have ah, the time. Okay. So that it takes second over. You're going to make it fit. Correct. Okay, that makes sense. Right? That makes sense? So there's another thing that happens with us when we are filming constantly, and it's like, Oh, we need to go get the camera. Oh, we should be filming this. Oh, I'm filming this, but man, I would sure wish I wasn't filming this for our own personal stuff. We love sharing with you guys. We, we just need to take our lives back a little bit. Well, yeah, we get swallowed up in it. And it's enjoyable, but at the same time, it's incessant. And not that we need the space as much as there's a lot of things tasks, concerns, chores, needs that we should be spending more of our focus on and not just trying to record them. <laughs> it's, you know, we need to live our life and not just share it. And it's, that's what we want to start doing. But there's a lot that we're going to do that will still be shareable. Yes. So. And we're just taking it down a notch. First of all, we were like, okay, we're only going to do one a, one a week. And we're like, no, we need to still do the live. And we need to still. And what we. What's the matter? It got warm enough in here. It woke up a wasp. Oh. We'll have to get him. Okay. Temperature's starting to change. <laughs> Bugs are coming back. <laughs> one of the things that we love to do is share how to homestead for other seniors. We need to be successful at it, and in order to be successful at it, we need to do it. <laughs> we feel like our animals are being neglected. Uh, we just, our garden is being neglected. We just need to be able to succeed on our homestead. If YouTube were the only interference, we could probably cope with it, but there are a lot of other things that go on in life, as you know. And so the combination is makes it hard for us to reach the goals that we have set for the homestead. We've, we've got to make them happen. I mean, at the end of the day, the most important thing here is that we get this homestead going, not that we share it with everybody through YouTube. We, I'll talk a little bit about monetary. We, we didn't start um, doing YouTube to get money, but we actually have made a little bit of money, but not nearly what we thought we would make for the time that we've put in. Well, plus too, we look at others who started at about the time we did or even and later, and they've... For some reason, our audience doesn't grow 
and that's okay. We love the ones we have. I mean, we still want it to grow because we want to be able to touch others' lives. Um, but it's not providing an income for us to... That we can drop other things that would give us the more time. Correct. So, so uh, we, we still have plans to make a cottage, uh, to do a crowdfunder for that. We still have plans to make our garden and we're going to be planting our seeds, hopefully. <laughs> Plus we have animals that need yeah. attention yeah. a lot. A lot. <laughs> and we just want you to know we appreciate all your support. We love answering your questions. If it takes us a little bit longer, it's because I'm not going to be sitting down constantly. For six to seven, eight hours a day. Yeah, and literally that's what we were doing. And, and that just wasn't workable <laughs> for it is, if that's your job. We can do it in sports, yeah. If it, if it were our job. And we were which, making enough for it to be our job. Yeah. Um, that would be great. And so if every one of you that are on here at almost 5,000, and we want to go out and get two people to join, then that would be amazing. <laughs> but we don't want to feel obligated to you to do that. We just want to share. What we've done, which is different than a lot of other YouTubers is we haven't pushed hard to grow. Uh, it's just kind of happened and we've been more, we haven't scripted and planned out and you know, here's here's what we're gonna do with YouTube. Not that they really do it bad, because they're, yeah. they're great. I mean, they're running it as a business. We are capturing are, not that they don't capture their reality, but we, we're not as focused on it being the business aspects of it. So it's kind of a pull and tug thing for us because we don't want to do that, but at the same time, we'd like it to make it so that we didn't have to do outside jobs. Yeah, in as all much. honesty, we would love it to do that. We would love to have 100,000 people. But and the income that comes from that. The types of. <laughs> techniques we have to use, the things that we have to do defeats some of what we're trying to accomplish here and that's to be very open, share, very feed ourselves, very transparent Keep. and then the homestead, it's about us, about us feeding ourselves, not about showing other people how to feed themselves. Um, that sounds so mean. It does sound <laughs> mean, but you know, we, we aren't doing any of the kinds of techniques that are used to catch that type of attention. You know, there's nothing unusual about us. We're just normal people doing things. <laughs> In our things. 60s doing a homestead. Right. That's pretty... Yeah. So... And we enjoy it. We love it. The feedback we get, very gratifying, helps us. And lots of suggestions, lots of ideas. Don't stop those. We Please. love them. We need them. Um, we need all the support we can get, and um, who knows, you know, we may increase later, but you'll see us three times a week, and... Um, Those of you who are on Regenerate, Degenerate, you're still going to see us five times yeah, a week. Yeah, we still we have, do our morning. We're exercising. It's almost live, because we do it, we talk to you immediately, and then he goes and puts it on, so... Yeah, it's there little, if any, editing goes on there. So it's a very simple thing. I would do it live if our internet were better and YouTube recorded it better. And we just, we've had a lot of glitches trying to do it live. So but uh, still, it's, it's our exercise time. We're sharing that with you. One additional thing that we are going to change as of today, and we will send emails to all of our 12 Weeks to Hardiness students, is that we are going to do it at 8 p.m. on Monday evening. That's 9 o'clock on the west East Coast and 6 o'clock on the West Coast. And it's just for a half an hour. And this, what she's talking about is the 12 Weeks to Hardiness live session, the weekly for the questions and answers on the right. different lessons. Uh, we'd like to be able to get more participation there, and so we'll see if that works. Yeah, we're trying to find what works for everyone, or more of everyone, so that we can make certain that we're there to answer the questions and provide the information that can help you on your 12 weeks to hardiness journey. So see, that's really four times a week we're on the internet, plus the five times for uh, exercising. So that's nine times that we're still gonna be on the internet. <laughs> so you see where our dilemma comes in. <laughs> We've gotta make it work. And um, 
That's what we're doing. We're going to follow this video right now by showing you a little bit about our trip to Baker's Creek. And now it's Baker Creek. It is. It's Baker Heritage Creek. Seed Company. Yes, which we had a delightful time. Yes, great place. Thank you, everyone. Bye bye. I am sorry. I don't, I didn't take the time to look up the viewer's name that wanted to know how to make the chicken broth that made gelatin. In my video the other day, I made chicken broth and in, in a crock pot. And I said, I don't think it'll be gelatin because I added a lot of water. I opened it today. I want to show you this. It is completely gelatin. You see that? So that's the way you make chicken broth that's gelatin. Right now, I'm making a chicken pot pie. Um, this actually isn't a video to show you how to make it. I just started to do this and I went, oh, I have to show her. But since you're here for a few moments, let me just show you this. So I, I'm taking some of the chicken that I had the other day. I'm putting it. Uh, my pan's a little hot. I'm putting in my broth. See that? Jello. And then I'm putting in carrots, potatoes, mushrooms, broccoli, onions, garlic, and leeks. And then I'm going to let them slow cook in this. Then I'm going to add the shredded chicken that I took out and put it back in. So I'm going to recycle my broth. I'm going to take out some so it's not too thick, add a little bit of thickener to it. And I don't like to use cornstarch, so I'm probably going to use some arrowroot. And let me show you what it is. Arrowroot starch flour. It's Bob's Red Mill. Um, and it works for that, but doesn't give you the other stuff that... It's just better for you. So that's what I'll be using to thicken it up. And then I'll just make a whole wheat crust very thin and put over the top and bake it. Like I say, this wasn't supposed to be a recipe, but I just had to share that beautiful gelatin. Okay, that's downright beautiful. I may even keep all that broth in. Look at that. Woo, that is gonna make one gorgeous pie. Everything in here is organic also, just so that you know. Well, I guess I'll show you this recipe since I'm in the middle of it. Uh, I did end up leaving all the broth in there. I added the arrowroot, so it's gonna get thicker now. I may add a little bit more. I think it'll get thick. And then let me just show you this. This is an old recipe that I have. This is a wheat, a little bit of white flour, and I just roll it out and put it into a circle and lay this on top. All right, I will stick this in the oven now. Doesn't that look amazing? And that good broth, rich. Whoa. We're at Baker Creek Heritage Seed Company today. Made the jaunt out here. It's kind of a brisk day. The sun is shining <laughs> though. It is gorgeous. It was 15 when we left the house. <laughs> so we're going to kind of pan around and let you get an idea of what the village here looks like. You know, it's way different without all the people. <laughs> it's very quiet today. <laughs> so come with us as we go on into the seed store. What are we after today? I have a list for Austin and I have a list for us. 
I know a lot of you have seen video videos from other YouTubers who have come into Baker Creek store. Uh, we're here. We're going to take you a bit on a tour so you can see what's here. It's uh, uh, there's a lot going on here. And as you come in, you're this is where you can do the paying here, but you can see there's there's a lot that's available. Yeah, it's still, it's still and this is where there. we're getting started here. Uh, some of the grains and other products that they have that are for sale. And then the rows of seeds. So you can see what's here. Very helpful people. Uh, ready to, to be of assistance and to work with us and help us get what we need. Let's watch Rinda and see what she's coming up. <laughs> red Chinese, no, bean Chinese red noodles. Uh, I have no idea. There's, well, we have some full seed. Can you show my back? Yeah, you know, you come in for a couple. <laughs> Ooh, melons. That's what browsing will do for you. <laughs> Here's the orange watermelon. It's supposed to be really good. Let's try one. What the heck? Okay. Tomatoes you're good with? You don't want any more? You Can like them? To me? <laughs> Grow what we got. Do we have quite a few? I don't know. Maybe I don't know either. You're the one that did the inventory, so I'm kind of looking to you for that answer. Okay, there you go. Well, we got out of there with our bags and not as much damage as I thought it was going to be, so I'm, I'm happy. It is certainly different here during the festivals. They have one festival a month and the big one in May. And that's the one we're coming to. Now, I'm going to show you this dude in here. 